All right, guys, welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to create this empty black window using Kiwi. And this black window is nothing actually but a canvas on which we can draw stuff, we can create stuff, we can add elements, etc. So in the last video, we learned the four steps of creating a basic Kiwi app. So the first thing you need to do is create an app. And the second thing you need to do is create a game class. And then you need to build a game. And then finally, you need to run the app. These are the four basic steps. And in this video, we are going to learn how to add graphics to our canvas. So for the sake of simplicity, we are just going to add a simple rectangle in the middle of our screen. And we're also going to add some text on the left hand side and the right hand side that are going to be our scores in this pong game. And before we get started, you need to understand something a little bit about a uh, coordinate system of Kiwi. So on the left hand side, on the left top corner of the side, the X and Y coordinates are 0, 0. So this window, you can think of it as a X coordinate and a Y coordinate graph. So from left to right, there is X axis and from top to bottom, there is Y axis. So if you want to go from left to right, you just need to increase the X axis. And similarly in Y, if you need to go from top to bottom, you need to increase the Y axis. So for example, over here, the coordinates on the left top corner, the coordinates are 0, 0. But if you want to move towards the right hand side in the middle somewhere, but still at the top, the X is going to increase to half of the screen, but the Y is going to still be at 0. So these are the some of the concepts of the coordinate that we are going to be using to create our shapes and positioning them correctly. So before we even do that, we need to create a new file, a new graphics file that Kiwi requires and we're going to just call it pong.kv. So this .kv is an extension that Kiwi uses for graphics file. And one other thing you need to make sure is that the name of this file is the same as the app name. So currently our app name is pong. That is why we have called it pong.kv. Kiwi. If our name app name is something different like chess app or the chess app, then this name to be needs to be chess app or the chess app dot Kiwi. You don't need to add app at the end. It just needs to be same as the first word. So over here, the first word is Pong. So we are just calling it Pong. And then I'm just going to click on OK and it's going to create our new file. Then we need to add something known as a rule. So we're going to write Pong game and this is going to apply to all of our game class over here. So for these inside these brackets, these things inside these brackets are known as rules. And we are going to add some elements to our game. So first thing we need to do is put a colon. And then just like, just like in Python, everything has indentations over here, for example, over here. And this is how Python interpreter knows how to execute these statements properly. Similarly, in .kiwi, we also need to make sure that the statements are properly intended. So first we are going to press the tab button. So we have a couple of spaces and then we are going to draw something on the canvas and every statement that we need some kind of elements to it needs to have a colon at the end. So any element that has like some kind of attributes like position size and stuff like that. So in canvas, we can draw all kinds of shapes and sizes. In this case, we need to draw a rectangle. So we are going to write rectangle and make sure that the R is in capital, not anything else and make sure you also spell it properly. So inside rectangle, first we are going to put the colon obviously, and then it's going to get some attributes. So the first thing is position. And the second thing that we need is the size. So the size I'm just going to put as 10. So the width is going to be 10 pixels. And second thing we need is the height. So height we can get of this window as by just by writing self dot height. So self basically means the window itself. So we're going to be getting the height of this window itself and we are making the size of the rectangle or the height of the rectangle same as the height of this window. That's why we can just write self dot height and Kiwi gets the height of this window automatically for us. And then the position requires two values, the X axis and the Y axis. So we can get the X axis by writing self dot center X over here. And what this will do is that it will position the rectangle in the center of the screen in the X axis. And then we just need the second value that is the Y coordinate. And then we are just going to put that as zero. So this self dot center X, you can also think of it as that it gets the width of this uh, window and then divides it by two. And that is why we get it in the center of our screen. So now we can just run this main dot pi file and see if it works. So stop and rerun because we already have our window and you can see this rectangle has appeared over here, but you not, might not be able to notice this, but this rectangle is not exactly in the center. So this rectangle has a left side and a right side. So the left side is exactly at the center, but the right side is not. 
So we want the middle of this rectangle to be at the center. So what we are going to do is we are going to take our size that is the 10, we are going to divide it by 2, that is the 5, and then we are going to subtract 5 pixels. That is why we are subtracting 5 pixels. If this value would have been 20, we need to have subtracted 10 pixels over here. So right now the value is just 10, so we are just going to subtract 5. And this will give us the correctly positioned rectangle. Alright, this looks pretty sweet. And now we are going to add text on the left hand side and the right hand side. And so for that we are going to go out of the rectangle to the place where we wrote canvas over here. So let me just make sure that it's indented properly. So I'm going to go back over here somewhere and press the tab button again. And just like the canvas, only shapes are inside canvas, not text and not other elements. So because we can't draw shapes on anything else than the canvas. So over here the texts are also known as labels. So I'm just going to write label over here and then press enter. And first thing we need our text to have is the size. So I'm going to give it a font size and we want it pretty big. So I'm just going to put in 70 and then we want it to be at the center X. So first I'm just going to write this line and then I'm going to explain it. So I'm going to write center X root dot width divided it by four. So this basically is the X coordinate of where do we want this label to appear. So what we're going to do is we are going to take the width of the window and divide it by four. So for example, let's say the width of this window right now is 100 pixels. If, if you divide it by 4, that gives you 25 pixels. And if the left hand side is 25, then you can, if the left hand side is 0, then if you add 25 pixels to it, it's going to come somewhere over here. And that is exactly what we need. So this is the, basically the X coordinate. And then what we're going to do is we're going to write the top. So this is the X coordinate. Now we need the Y coordinate. And for that, we're just going to write top. And then over here, we are going to give it the margin of 50. So first, what we wanted to do is just go to the top that is zero and then we're going to subtract 50 from it. That is the give it a 50 pixel margin from the top so that it appears somewhere over here. So over here, I'm just going to write top and then we want the top width. So I'm just going to write root dot top and this will give us basically the length and then we are just going to subtract 50 from it. So this will give us a margin of 50 pixels from the top. Now I'm just going to write the last value that is the text that we want to appear on the screen for right now. It's just going to be zero. This looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to copy and paste this again at the bottom over here because we want two texts and these texts are going to be like as scores in this ping pong game. So that is why we need two values. So first font size is perfectly fine, but root width we should do into three by four. Let me remove the space from here. All right, this looks pretty good. So over here, if the root dot width is, for example, let's say 100 pixels, then if we multiply it and by three by four, it's gonna give us the value of 75. Uh, this is basically math, I'm not gonna tell you how to do it, but basically you divide 100 by four, that gives you 25, and then you multiply it by three, that gives you 75. So 75, if you take it from the X axis, is gonna come where somewhere over here. So 25 is over here, so 75, so I'm gonna come somewhere over here. So this looks pretty good. I'm just going to reload our app so that it, to make sure it looks good. All right. So this is looking pretty decent. It's a good start for graphics uh, video. So I'm just going to change a couple of values so that you guys properly understand what's happening. Now, instead of 50, I'm just going to do this 100 and then I'm going to reload it again so that you guys can see the difference. So you can see the left hand side has like 100 pixel margin from the top and this still has 50. So this is looking pretty good. Um, hopefully you guys under understood this video. Make sure if you have any questions, please ask. And I'll see you in the next video. We are going to create our first ball of the ping pong game. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.